I'm glad you're here. Welcome to Love Vibe TV. This is a place where I like to share my favorite tips and strategies to help you create more of the good stuff. So I like to call myself a unicorn wrangler because unicorns are those things that we don't think exist, but they do. So here you get to take all of those things that seem like whispers or sparkles in the distance and actually claim them and say, yes, I'm having this, whether it's meeting your beloved, whether it's making a ton of money, whether it's being a superstar, whatever you desire is possible when you have the right tools. That's as simple as that. So I've been practicing a lot of different things and I teach mostly about um, how to call in your beloved and, and different ways to get past the stuff that keeps us from having that. And today I want to do a specific conversation on doubt because doubt is the dream killer. Let's just name it. It is the thing that is, it's a lie. It's based on fear. It will distract you and it will take you off the path. Kind of like if you're driving down a road, you know exactly where you want to go and it, you keep taking these detours like and you think oh okay well I know it's this road but then oh but maybe and you just get sucked in I did a, a quick TikTok on this and it's kind of like doubt is the seductive energy it really really is convincing in the ways that it it can make us like buy into the limitation or the the fear, all of it. So I invite you to consider making your space a doubt-free zone. You know what it feels like, right? You know what doubt feels like. It makes you question. It makes you wonder. It makes you think, well, maybe I can't have it. The most important thing you need to remember is when you have those desires, those asks, those like deeper, soulful <sighs> dreams that those are yours. Those are divinely planted within your consciousness for you specifically to have. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I like to talk about how the awareness of that desire is the manifestation. So the cool thing about even that statement, the awareness of the desire is the manifestation is that it's, there's no room for doubt. Like you have that desire to share your life with someone, then it exists. It exists in an energetic form, maybe not in the 3D at the moment, but it exists. And the more we can put more value on knowing that it exists, knowing that that is not less than it being in the physical form, that that is just as true and powerful and present. And if you can begin to train yourself to know that when you have the awareness of something that just lights you up, that has that energy, that is the passion, the fire, the like, yes then there's nothing except for, you know, the distractors of fear and doubt and worry and, you know, external things that we can get hooked into that aren't even really relevant, but we can pretend like they are. So doubt is definitely one of those things where if you can almost imagine doubt like a, did I even say what I did on TikTok? I said it was like the, the, the pervy, creepy, creepy guy in a van that's offering the kid candy, like, ew, like, don't take the candy. Like the candy is the level, like that's this level of seduction. It's like, ooh, and calls you away. You take the candy and then you're in this, like, you're away from your dream again. 
you're just gone. So that's what, that was a little dramatic, I know. Um, but it's true. Like doubt can be like that. I think for me, one of the most helpful things was to acknowledge how seductive those doubts can be that um, if you make the choice to go, oh yeah, I know, I know that I could get swayed by this, but give yourself the space to envision doubt almost like a person or a monster or a thing or an energy where you can name it, where you, where you don't have to like sense doubt and be like, this is who I am. This is the truth because that is not it. It can be, we can have the awareness of, whoa, there's questions, there's fear and not get sucked into it. So it's up to you, up to us to be the one that is the champion of the dreams and the desires. Like only you can do that. So only you can be the voice that says no to doubt. No, I'm not going there. I'm not buying it. I know what it is. It's doubt. I know what doubt feels like. It's, it's pu pulling up questions. It's making me think I can't have it. It's just a natural part of what the ego likes to do to trick us out of expanding into greater. That's just how it goes. If you heard me reading The War of Art the other day, that's one of the last videos. Go check it out. There's a lot of cool things about the ego versus that soulful self, that infinite being. So my message to you today is to maybe even journal about this, journal about the quality of the energy of doubt. Maybe you even make a picture. Like I find it's really helpful to make it into a character, like make it into the character. Like how is doubt showing up? Like if it were a being, what would it look like? I mean, mine immediately comes up as this like slimy body, like with giant eyes and just like green and sticky. It's sticky. It's so sticky. Like if you just touch it, it can like drag you down. So, so it's like, oh, wow. If I can see it like that, I can say, yeah, I'm on to you. Yep. I know what you look like. I'm not, I'm not going there. You can do whatever you want to try to sway me, but I'm not choosing that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. And then it has no power over you because you have already identified it. You know it. You know. You can't unknow this. So now just listening to this. Listening to this, my intention is that by you listening to this video, that you no longer can just unconsciously get sucked away by doubt. You may get sucked away for, for an hour or maybe a day or two days, even then, but you will recognize that you did it. And when you recognize that you did it, then the space starts getting smaller in between. So you start noticing it like when you're about to do it, then you start noticing it before it even gets close to you. You notice it and you get to choose something else. So Living as a doubt-free zone, no matter what you want to create, you want to be committed to this. Be committed to the doubt-free zone so that you can have your manifestations faster. And when you don't have the doubt, you just get to live in the excitement and the, the dream and the knowing that it's yours to have and really Know that if you have the awareness of it, it is yours. Wow, I'm so happy I get to have this relationship. I'm so lucky I get to have this relationship. I'm so lucky that I have millions of dollars. I'm so lucky that my YouTube channel is on fire and just tons of raving fans. Like you just name the things that you are aware of as if they are here right now, because they are, they are here in that energetic level. And that is not less than the 3D. You have to know that more than the solid things we see in the world outside of us right now, there's the energetic space is way bigger than that, way bigger. 
Like this is just like 0.0001% of how the universe works. Most of it is in the invisible and we are tapped in, tuned into that. So acknowledge it, celebrate it, be excited for your desires because they are yours to have. And you have them, the more you have them and acknowledge them and say yes to them, then the faster that they can actualize into the world for you. So thank you for watching. If you like this, please share it with your friends and like and subscribe. I love having your support and we'll see you really soon. Bye.